there is actually no objective way to quantify the patient's level of pain. And actually our gold standard of evaluating their pain is just going off the patient's report of pain. So I've done this multiple times in the past where I would look at their reticulocyte count, I would look at their anemia, levels of hemolysis, and I would kind of justify, hey, you know, it doesn't look like you're having that bad of a crisis right now. None of those things actually correlate to the patient's pain. So the gold standard, again, is the patient's report of pain. I think this is a very controversial point for a lot of people because all throughout our training nowadays, we are taught about how we need to really be very judicious with the amount of opioids that we prescribe to people and to have a very high index of suspicion for opioid misuse or addictive behavior. However, for sickle cell patients, this is actually the one scenario where we really have to be extremely, extremely aggressive with treating their pain and also taking them seriously when they report pain.